What's up, everybody? Hope everything is going good. This is Hassan Shabazz coming at you with yet another video. Today's video is Napoleon Hill Success Principle Number 14. For a complete list of our principles that we have covered on Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich and his uh, book, The Laws, Universal Laws of Success. The Law of Success, Volume 1, I would advise anyone who is interested in the science of success or the science of getting rich or the science of self-improvement to check this book out, The Law of Success. Also, Think and Go Rich. But Think and Go Rich was developed from the, from the principles within this book. And if you're interested in Think and Go Rich, check out our YouTube channel. Check out the playlist. We have a playlist on the title Abundance. And in that playlist, there is recordings of Napoleon Hill's book, Thing Go Rich, the, the original 1934 edition. The ones that came later have been abridged, but the 1934 edition is the best copy of the book. So if you don't want to take the time to read it, you can listen to it. Like it says in the playlist entitled Abundance, Success and Abundance. So check it out if you're interested in learning about success, more about success principle number 14 and all the other success principles that we've covered. All of that is available in the playlist, which will be on this video. So let's go to Napoleon Hill Success Principle number 14, which is entitled Creative Vision. Before that, if you're new to the channel, like the video, share the video, and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. Subscriptions help out, likes help out, shares help out. So let's, let's, get, this, let's get this channel rolling. Let's like. Let's share, subscribe, make a comment. We love to see comments on the videos, so make a comment. If you need to talk to someone, if you're feeling down, you're feeling depressed, you can always contact me for a free confidential health analysis and consultation. Contact me at gmail.com. Also, you can... Um, Leave a comment on this video with the contact information and we'll contact you. So feel free to contact me. As a health coach, we deal with not just your physical needs, the food you eat, or your secondary health, but deal with your primary health, which is uh, how you feel, your state of mind, your emotions, your psychological well being. So we're trained to listen. And we're trained to um, help you f make the decisions that are good for you. Not the decisions that are good for me, but the decisions that are good for you. So if you want to uh, talk with someone, you feel you need to talk to someone, feel free to contact me and set, set up a uh, consultation. It's free and it's totally confidential. Now, our topic is principle of success principle number 14 creative vision creative vision creative vision is a quality of mind belonging only to men and women who follow the habit of going the extra mile but it is recognized, but it recognizes no such thing as the regularity of working hours. It is not concerned with monetary compensation, and its highest aim is to do, do the impossible. Creative vision is definitely and closely related to that state of mind known as faith, 
and it is significant that those who have illustrated the greatest amount of creative vision are known to have been men with a great capacity for, for faith. This, this is both logical and understandable when we recognize that faith is the means of approach to infinite intelligence. The source of all knowledge and all facts, both great and small. Let me read that again. Faith is the means of approach to infinite intelligence, the source of all knowledge and all facts, both great and small. So creative vision is the quality of mind that belongs only to men and women who follow the habit of going the extra mile. For it recognizes no such thing as the regulatory or the regularity, I'm sorry, the regularity of working on is not concerned with monetary compensation, and its highest aim is to do the impossible. So when you exercise creative vision, principle 14, you look to go beyond whatever boundaries you have set. In your in your mind, in your imagination, there is no such thing as impossible. When you're thinking about something, there is no such thing as impossible, it can't be done. In your mind, you have to have the creativity to find out how can I do it. So, and that's a constant uh, thing. You have to constantly look at how can I make it happen? How can I make it possible? And that comes from having faith that you, you, that you can make it happen, that you will make it happen. So creative vision is definitely and closely related to the state of mind known as faith. Belief, faith, knowing that I can make this happen, I just have to keep working on it. It's going to happen. Faith. Faith is the means of approach to infinite intelligence. You cannot approach infinite intelligence without faith. You have to have faith. Faith is the source of all knowledge and all facts, both great and small. So creative vision is fueled by faith. Without faith, you you have no, or your creative vision is limited. In fact, your vision period is limited by faith. He said, without vision, the people perish. So you have to have vision. You have to be able to see beyond your current state to a better state. So, and that goes back, and this goes to this, as we summarize, the imagination is the workshop of the soul when, wherein are shaped all plans for individual achievement. Your imagination is where you begin to, to form those creative ideals or create and begin to see that creative vision. You have to be able to imagine something beyond where you're at, beyond your current state. So creative vision is fueled by faith. And faith is that which allows us to approach infinite intelligence. So we have to have faith. You have to constantly move to get out of your comfort zone. Look at your world and try to see a creative way of improving it. See, have, develop vision to see beyond where you're at. So, creative vision. Success principle number 14. To summarize, creative vision belongs only to those who go the extra mile, but it recognizes no such thing as the regularity of working hours. It is not concerned with monetary compensation and its highest aim is to do the impossible. The imagination is the workshop of the soul wherein are uh, shape all plans for individual achievement. So we're going to leave you with that. Success structure number 14, created vision. And then we, as we state once again, the Bible says, the people perish for a lack of vision. Most of us have not succeeded in our life because we have no vision for our life. So it's never too late to, to establish a vision for your life. What do you see yourself a year from now? 
Where do you see yourself six months from now? You have to have a vision. You have to go in your go in the workshop of your mind and begin to see a plan where you want to be. And that take and that you have to use creativity. You have to have faith that you can accomplish it. If you can see it, you can be it. And that takes faith. So until next time, we hope that you will like this video, share the video. If you're still here, like the video, share the video, make a comment on the video. And we will see you on the other side. Peace.